Welcome back. Another day, another two videos. If you didn't watch the video I put out earlier about Walmart and then watching my content, and if you got, if you're a Walmart spark driver, go check it out and then leave a comment down below so Walmart can maybe respond or hopefully see it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, we're in the sun again. We're in St. Louis, Missouri. It's two thirty. Oh man, the sun. The sun's. It's a glorious day. It's a glorious day. Let's talk real quick about something I got in my mind. The sun's blinding me. I can't even like pay attention. Anyways. YouTube is a wonderful place. It really is. I made similar videos talking about YouTube and, 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 and drama and comments and mental health. I've made them a few times because when you spend as much time making content as I do, watching other content, you notice things. And I, this is a vlog style channel. My whole YouTube algorithm has pretty much completely changed because I started watching different things different creators right stop watching certain creators so the algorithm just sees what you like and then it recommends that stuff and if it's recommending new things it's not going to recommend the stuff you might have watched six months ago a year ago six weeks ago whatever right and it can be very therapeutic in some ways i think a lot of us go to youtube to get to be entertained most go to learn something about something that they want to know about YouTube is Google, same company, SEO search engines, what's hot topics, boom, that's where you, that's where you find your stuff on YouTube. Well, what happened to this space? What happened to YouTube? What happened to the gig space? What happened to 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 people that are friends or not friends? What happened? Do we have, is it a mental health issue? Is it validation? Are people seeking validation, acceptance? Because they're not getting it somewhere else? I'm guilty of that. Just being on, being transparent and honest with you guys. I have, I have been at times guilty of that on YouTube. You want to share something good, new. You want to talk about this topic. You want clicks, you want likes, you want engagement. You want what you have in your head to be heard and you want people to validate that by watching or commenting or saying, yeah, Pedro, you're right, or no, Pedro, you're wrong. You want to stoke those flames that are either positive or negative. As content creators, some of us do it. I actually think most don't. I think the successful ones do not do that. I have a channel on YouTube. I make money on YouTube. I've made mistakes on YouTube publicly. I've talked about them. I've been demonetized, I've had a channel strike, and I've learned from these things. And I, on YouTube, I, I try not to repeat the same mistake twice. And with those things, I have not. And you grow from it. You take accountability and you move on. I've unsubbed and stopped watching certain things, but sometimes things pop up in your feed. And if you're bored and you got time, you might click it. I've been guilty of that. But I've been getting better at not watching certain things, not typing in the search engine. Oh, well, I wonder what's going on on that with that guy, with that channel. But there are times I fall victim to the, 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 the rabbit hole. And I'll tell you what, I'm embarrassed. But I'm glad that I've stepped away and that I'm not engaged in chats, watching this, having an opinion, clicking links. It is refreshing. And it's good for me. Because sometimes YouTube has been for me in the past a very toxic place. Mostly a fault of my own. Because you, as a viewer, me as a viewer, I have 100% control of what I want to watch and what I want to click on. Who I want to spend time with, who I want to give energy to. Who I want to collab with, who I want to have fun with, who I want to argue with. I control that 100% and so do you. Thank you for clicking on this video. You didn't have to. I think a lot of some of the things some of the things that I believe I've struggled with have to do with validation. Wanting to get uh, validation from people I don't even know. Whereas I should have been focusing on people that are in my circle that do know me, that I am impacting. Minutes and hours and days 
and years are precious in this life. I am not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. I'm going day by day, moment by moment with my sobriety and with other things. But I feel my mind seems so much clearer that I'm not spending time consuming entertainment. Hearing people, like I used to, they would talk about the same old thing over and over and over and over again. And people are spinning wheels in this YouTube space sometimes. I am choosing and going to really try, because I'm not perfect, drama sells, but I'm gonna try to spend my time in places that I'm not spinning wheels, I'm learning and growing and moving forward. I'm not staying in the same spot. And a lot of people are staying in the same spot. And it's, I was that person. I am that person sometimes still. Staying in the same spot. Wanted to hear, did somebody say my name? Did somebody say my name? Oh, I gotta respond. You know how freeing it is not to have to worry about that? Extremely. Extremely. But I will also say the good thing about YouTube is it's as a content creator, you, it's your tube, it's you too. You can do and go where you want. But this is just a reminder that you don't have to go places. You're either not welcome, you're not liked, respected. You don't have to go there. And the minute you stop going there, my experience has been, you'll feel a lot better. Got one more thing for y'all. I probably should have put this in the beginning of the video and she probably won't watch it, but she does watch some of my videos, but very rare, very rare. But I wanna show a little love and appreciation for somebody in my life. You guys know her, I talk about her. I think you, even you might have seen a picture on Instagram of her. She's not really on this channel, we don't. Um, my girl Madison, mother of one of my two children, our three-year-old Ruby June. I wanna put this out in the universe because you know I tell her, but I probably don't tell her enough. But I wanna share it publicly for all my men out there. When you got a good woman, and nobody's perfect, we have our things, trust me, right? But when you got a loyal, good woman, if you have that, and if you had it and you lost it, I'm sure you men know exactly what I'm talking about. If you got a loyal, good woman by your side, not perfect, loyal, good, beautiful, inside and out, try to hold on to her and respect her as much as you can. I've done things in my life to women in my life, including Madison, if I'm being honest, that were not good, not uh, respectful. I'm a flawed man. I'm not somebody that's easy to be with. But Madison is everything. I couldn't be going throughout this journey without you, babe. I could not go on this journey that I'm in, do what I do, and I've given you flowers before. I've given her, you know, she helps with this channel in the ways of she knows it's important. She gives me grace in doing and making content creation. I just want to say I, I, I love you. For all my men out there, if you're married, you got a girlfriend, whoever it is for you, a woman in your life, tell them you love them right now. I will only go as far as, as I can take myself, but I can't do it by myself, right? I, I can't do it alone. And I think most successful men, and I am, not, I am not successful. I thought I was in some ways. Some of y'all might think I am. I'm a flawed man, living day by day, trying to make the best out of this world, but not, and I will become successful in whatever measure that I choose and what I want that to look like for me and mine. But successful men have a, a good woman by them that gets them. I know I can come home tonight and share things with Madison and she might not be happy or whatever, but she will always have my back. And I am extremely grateful for that. And I wrote that in my journal today and I wanted to share it for all my fellow men out there. Find you a good woman. It can change your life. I'll see you guys in the next video.